If you're seeing this video, I'm still in the hospital. Anyhow, I got a little story. Oh, uh, back in the day, one of my cousins, his name was Timmy. And we absolutely did not like girls. And especially didn't like them hanging around us and stuff. Timmy had a sister. Her name was Kay. And she was really, back in the day, we called them prissy. She was prissy. Mama ain't Bertha Lewis. She was always fixing her hair. She had these long curls hanging down, and she never got dirty, never played in the dirt. None of that stuff. And we thought she got preferential treatment compared to the treatment me and Timmy got. We was nasty, dirty boys, you know, and she was prissy. She was a little princess running around that house. <laughs> and one day, me and Timmy thought, See, she never did anything wrong. She was always like a little angel. So her mama thought, ain't Bertha Lewis. <laughs> so me and Tammy concocted this idea. We were waiting, we were pretty sure she was asleep one night. And we went in there with a glass of water, crawled on the floor, sneaked up to her bed, <laughs> and we poured, we poured water right about where we thought her privates was at, on top of that blanket. It got good and wet. <laughs> The next morning, we couldn't wait to get up and see what her reaction was when she thought she done peed in the bed. <laughs> and we just kind of sit around, kind of smirking, you know, and everything. And there won't no reaction to Kay. She wasn't, she wasn't reacting at all. Everything was fine. <laughs> the only thing we f could figure out was it must have dried up. And boy, we was peed off. We thought we done pulled a good one on her and Maybe she knew that and she put a good one on us. <laughs> but she was one pretty little girl. Her name was Kay. I told her about that about two years ago. And... <laughs> First she told me, she said, well, that, I didn't know that. I don't remember that. And then later on that day, she said, you know, I knew what y'all did. <laughs> so, she got me and Timmy. <laughs> she got me and Timmy big time. <laughs>
<laughs> we got into a lot of mischief around that house. That was at Aunt Bertha Lewis and Uncle Edward. He was a farmer, big farmer. Um, uh, that's the one where me and Timmy went over to the barn. He had three or four tractors, Ford tractors. And <clears throat> we went over hanging around the barn and we went over there. We didn't know how to start a tractor or drive, let alone drive a tractor. And we're sitting up there pulling levers and pushing buttons and pulling knobs and stuff. And all of a sudden, the button, one button we pushed was the starter. <laughs> and that tractor started and it was running and we didn't know how to turn it off. We took off. We never let on that we knew that we did that. And I don't know, somebody probably found it running and probably thought, well, who left that on? But <laughs> that was two scared little boys when, when that tractor got started like that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Timmy. Tammy was one of them cousins that were with me that, remember that story I told y'all about them breaking the water fountain at the bus station so black people couldn't get a drink of water because they're not allowed to get water from the white water fountain? He was one of them that was with us, but it wasn't him that did it. I'll tell you who it did it. It was Charles. Charles that did. It was Charles Madison, another Finner's first cousin. But he thought, he, he was kind of mean. He was kind he claimed one time when Elvis Presley was making tours in the 50s there, and he he did a concert at, at, at it wasn't called a concert, but and he did, but he was doing a show back then and Charles claimed they stopped at this drive-in restaurant thing that Charles was at. Elvis had stopped there, and he beat him up, which was a crock of crap. He ain't beat nobody up. He ain't even seen Elvis. But that's what he was telling. And I guarantee you, as soon as that concert, or that show was over, Elvis and his entourage hit the road going to the next one, which was went to Southern. That's where I seen him at. <laughs> that, that's, that's the one where, when I was in Germany, and Elvis, I, I met Elvis Presley over there, and I went up there like some stupid idiot, and asked him, uh, do you remember me sitting on the row at the Carolina Theater in Winston-Salem? <laughs> How stupid was that? I was starstruck, I guess. <laughs> and he said, no, sir, I don't. <laughs> at least I got to talk to him. I didn't get a picture. I had a picture one time when I met him in, in Germany, you know, uh, uh, that that uh, uh, we was taking turns getting a picture made with him. But he didn't act annoyed or anything, you know. He was a nice man. And unlike a lot of these rock stars, there's no way in hell they would have went and done their two years that it took off to Canada or somewhere. But he did, he, he soldiered, he, 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 he pulled his weight. And anybody that met him or knew him or any of the NCO sergeants and stuff that was over him said the same thing, he soldiered. But that was back 
was it 56? Might have been 56. When he, when he did the show at uh, Winston-Salem, it was at the Carolina Theater, and um, there was uh, Justin Tubb in the show and June Carter. You know, she and later on she married Johnny Cash. Um, I met June Carter and Johnny Cash. They was at the funeral of my wife's uncle. No, they was at the funeral of my wife's. Let's see. He, uh, Marsha Grant was my wife's first cousin, and he was part of Johnny Cash's Tennessee Three and the band and all that stuff. And it was Marsha Grant's dad that died, so it was my wife's uncle that died, and they was at that funeral, and I met them then. That's been a while. I don't even remember what year it was. But I was kind of starstruck. Well, I, she, I just loved June Carter. I thought she was a cat's meow boy. <laughs> I sure did like her. Didn't like Justin Tubb. That was Ernest Tubb's son. Anyway. That's my story today, and I'm sticking to it. And I'll see you in the next one. And like I said, if you're seeing this video right now, I'm still in the hospital. What I'm doing, I'm making these couple, three videos ahead, and I'm setting the date on them when they're supposed to go live, you know. That's what I'm doing. Anyway, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. I'll see you in the next one. See ya. GoPro, stop recording.